DJ Grandmaster G, and we are now. I got you locked into the Dawn Smith Cooking Show. And uh, hey, Dawn, what are you uh, what are you preparing today on the grill? What are you preparing today on the grill, Dawn? Um, you know, you're 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 always into cooking, and um, it's something that you enjoy doing, and I know that. Um, what are you cooking on the grill today, Dawn? Well, Gary. Today I have for you, it's not on a cake. <laughs> oh, that's supposed to be funny, huh? And today you, for me, you have snot on a cake. Yeah. No, but really, I mean, this is this is your cooking show, and we're going to highlight what you're doing on the grill today out here. Uh, we know that you cook, and you have done so many different things on the grill. The last couple of years, you have given cookouts and events, and uh, the world needs to know about how much you have a passion for cooking and uh, so today what are you preparing on the grill this is the Dawn Smith cooking show everyone yes she does she has one she has one right now well can you show us what the corn looks like and tell us what it is No, I don't know what you're saying. Uh, can you please look at the camera when you speak to me, please? Uh, so, yes. Yeah, so, so on this corn, um, you have what on it? Again. I told you. Herbs, wood oil, little seasonings. And okay. Today I'm going to do a bit out the husk to see how it comes out. It's like I'm wasting my time when I keep the husk on and do all that extra work. Or if I can do it this way. Since I don't have anybody here other than you, you're my test dummy. Well, I'm always a test dummy. I know that. But uh, what you you said uh, you have uh, just a little bit of herbs and what have you on on the corn. And um, where did you learn this technique? Is this uh, some technique that someone has taught you, or how did you no, learn this it's technique? Just me around. That's about it. What is it? What kind of a flavor are you supposed to get from this type of a corn? Well, there's a bit of garlic in it, so it's a little, little, little Spanish or Mexican, however you want to call it, you know, with the paprika on it and the garlic, you know, so that's what you're supposed to get out of it. So it's basically a Spanish type of a corn I on the cob. I so, yeah. Okay. I think that's and so assessment. what else are you uh, preparing along with this corn for a meal today for your family? And uh, I'm just going to do a little strip steak along with the corn. And on the strip steak you will put? I will put nothing because this is also a test. This is a pre-seasoned, seasoned bonus strip steak from Wegmans. <laughs> no, this is a Wegman commercial now. You bought a what? A seasoned bonus strip steak. You know why? Because it was there, it looked a little appetizing. I figured, oh, let's give it a shot. You know, but I also bought a few ribeyes that are regular. So tomorrow or the next day or what have you, someday during the week, we'll do a little dawn seasoned ribeye steak. So today you're giving your family a steak that is pretty much already prepared. Uh, it's seasoned, but it is not cooked. So you're saying the mastery today is not the seasoning, it's the cooking aspect of it. Exactly. It's always part of it, don't you think? But what because if your family doesn't like it? They don't have to eat it. Okay. <laughs> if my family doesn't like it, I won't buy it again. They don't have to eat it. But it's worth a shot. Why not? But why would you experiment on your family when well, eating? That's what I experiment on. No, but you see, but eating. Somebody else's family? Eating. Well, other people come in and show you. Experimentation anyway. Because every time you try something new, you experiment.